Okay, there's one final way to create a drum track and it's my personal favorite. It's called the beat sequencer. And we access it via when we create a new track. Um, we It's under the drum menu. And here's the icon here, beat sequencer. This is really fun. This is more like an old school uh, drum machine. And we basically create beats by, uh, as soon as I click on one of these colored squares, it's gonna start looping a section here. So I can just click up right up the top. This pink one here is a kick drum. And I just click on them and start sequencing a beat here. So I can click some hi-hats in. I can pop some tom hits. And then if I want to stop that from playing, I could just switch it off with this icon here. Now I can change the drums or add some drums to this sequence by going down and hitting this plus button here. So I can add in a cowbell or rim shot, or these are all the options with this particular one. If I want, I can add the cowbell here. So let's listen to how that sounds. That's an old school cowbell. I don't really like the sound of that. I'm going to change that by clicking on it and selecting a different uh, kit piece. Let's try the rim shot. That actually sounds like uh, the metronome to me. So let's, let's try a shaker. Under this little menu on the right, we can change the velocity of individual notes by clicking that velocity and then clicking and uh, touching our finger on an individual note and dragging up or down. So this can be really good for humanizing uh, the, the beat and creating some variance in the velocity, which is kind of like the volume or how hard it gets hit. We can also use uh, this arrow here, upward facing arrow, to select the note repeat, which I really like. We can split a note in half if we want. That's how we get these trap sounding hi-hats. So I just click on it and it will split it. If I click and hold, I can choose anywhere up to four notes or back to one note. So let's have a listen to what three sounds like on these two hi-hat hits. Oops, I'm just gonna turn this on down the bottom. Fantastic. If I want to go back to adding or removing notes, I can just simply go back to this step on off. Now, this is a one bar loop that we've created. I might want to create more than one bar. So uh, to do that, we select this I here, the info. And at the moment, the step length is 16th notes that I'm able to edit. And so one full step is 16 uh, steps, one full bar rather. So I'm going to click on this and select 32, which will give me now these two bars up the top here. So I can alter the second bar to be slightly different or have a drum roll or something along those lines in it. So let's see if I can add in some extra beats here and some variance towards the end and maybe add in something extra uh, such as a high tom here. So let's listen to now a two bar loop. Beautiful. Now, if I wanted to add that to my track, I would simply hit all the way back to the start with this button right here and then hit record. And because this is only a two bar loop, I only really need to record two bars of it. Okay, so now if I go over to the track view, I might just need to trim this down, this region to two bars. There we are, two bars in length. So that's how you can get that uh, beat sequence that you've created out into your composition. I'm gonna go back to the beat sequencer by hitting this button right here. There are a few extra uh, features here. 
which are really handy. What we can do is create a random beat with this dice. So this will just create complete randomness for us. Can be fun to just flick through that for a few minutes until you find something surprisingly good. Um, some of them might sound really weird. We can also start off with um, a preset pattern. So we can, there are a lot of these, we can flick through these and these are pre-made beats that Apple have given you and, you know, in various styles. So let's have a listen. Let me see if I can find some hip hop style ones here. So that's like a halftime feel, that one. So if I select done, that's gonna load that up onto my beat sequence for me. I can change the drum kit and the sounds that I have access to uh, as well in this view by clicking the downward facing arrow. So this is the modern 808 at the moment, but I have access to all of the acoustic and electronic and, uh, drum kits as well as extra percussion. So you can create some um, percussive elements to a song so um, I'm going to stay with the 808 sounds for the moment, but you can see there are you know dozens of different uh, drum kits that you can try out with this. Um, the other thing is under this info panel, uh, we can add other things such as uh, swing, and we can change the step length, which will change the speed that it's played at. This can be handy sometimes. We can change it to 32 notes or eighth notes for more simple beats. Um, we can also change the playback mode. We can reverse it so we can hear what our beat would sound like in reverse. We can also change the playback mode to ping pong, which will go forward and backwards. So when it hits the end, it will reverse. So this is a great way. This is actually my favorite way of creating, uh, you know, beats on the fly, creating tracks because you have a lot of control over it. And then once you like the sequence that you've made, you can simply record it into your arrangement here. And then um, if you didn't like it, you can simply delete that region and record in a new one. So that is the beat sequencer. And next we're going to have a look at adding some other instruments into our composition.